So we're in a, one of the more remarkable canyons in the northern part of Death Valley. This is Mosaic Canyon. Uh, Mosaic Canyon has some really cool looking rocks, a really interesting geologic history. And you can see some of the rocks behind me here. Um, this canyon, like a lot of the canyons in Death Valley, formed as a result of flash floods coming down these very steep uh, desert canyons, uh, the rocks scouring out the bedrock and forming these narrow kind of sinuous canyons that empty out onto the valley floor. The primary rock behind me here, this is a, a dolostone. Dolostone is similar to a limestone. It's deposited at the ocean floor. This is about 700 million years old. Um, and it has some interesting sort of patterns and textures to it. In places it looks similar to maybe like a, a marble or something like that. Dolostone's a little different than limestone. It has more magnesium that's replaced some of the calcite or calcium in it. And so it has a little different sort of pattern to it. Um, but what we're gonna do here is walk down the canyon and show you some of the cool features that we see here. So as we come down uh, this lower end of Mosaic Canyon, you can see right here the rock types change. Uh, there's actually a contact here between the Dolo Stone and this kind of angular blocky looking rock and it's on both sides of the canyon. You can see it over here where it's in contact and what this part of the canyon shows and this is why it's called Mosaic Canyon uh, is this canyon being a pretty large drainage off the north side of Tucky Mountain uh, has experienced a lot of floods over time and every time there's a, a flash flood that comes through here uh, if it's a big flood it'll scour out the entire canyon but if it's a little less energetic type of flood it'll actually deposit gravel and sand in the canyon itself and because the dola stone has a lot of this um, calcite or this carbonate material in it it actually can cement all that gravel and sand together and so what we have here is this gravel and sand that's come down this canyon during some past flash flooding event that's actually been cemented together. And so it sort of is plastered on to the sides of the canyon walls. And what you can see as we kind of come around here is you'll see places where uh, the, the nature of the floods that came through here are a little bit different. So for example, in this one here, we can see there's lots of different colors of rock material, of gravel. There's kind of these tans, which look a lot like the Dola stone down here, but there's also some of these grays as well. Uh, if we kind of go up, maybe about 10 feet or so, we can see another flooding event that's dominated by bigger chunks of dominantly the Dola stone, the lighter colored material. Um, here's a really big chunk of the Dola stone here, maybe about a meter or so in size. And you can kind of see this cool little canyon landscape Again, you can see these past flooding events plastered onto the sides of the canyon. Um, the size of the material is going to indicate a little bit about the energy level of the flooding event. So this one with bigger particles here would be more energetic uh, than something with some smaller particles. Right here we actually have something interesting. If you look at the, the way the layering runs in these, it actually runs almost vertical. So this is a big chunk of material that was plastered onto, plastered onto the canyon wall somewhere further up canyon, but then this whole piece tumbled down during a flooding event and got rotated and put on end. And so you can see, if we back up here, you can see the layering here running up and down uh, the wall, which is pretty impressive. Uh, let's see, so we've got more of the Dolo Stone on this side, more of the, the mosaic, the, the breccia, this uh, material that's all plastered together. A little bit of a jump down here. And again, you can see this contact here right between the two layers. Um, so a really neat little narrow canyon. You can imagine this thing when it floods uh, can probably fill up to maybe 30, 40, 50 feet full of water and rock debris as it comes down this canyon. And every uh, flooding of it might cut the canyon a little different than where the canyon went in the past. Right here we can actually see uh, at times in the past this thing must be scoured out a lot deeper and there might have been a dry fall right here and the Park Service has put in a railing to kind of help people up. You can actually see holes uh, there next to it as well. So in the past, this might have been a place where this helped people get up the canyon, whereas now it's kind of filled in with this sand and gravel, making it a lot easier to work your way down the canyon.
Um, so again, the light colored stuff is the, the Dola Stone, the 700 million year old Dola Stone. And over here, we can see several different flooding events ranging from smaller particles mixed with a lot of the gray material to other flooding events that were a little bit more energetic that have some of the bigger particles of the Dola Stone in it, this kind of tan material here. Uh, and this is a process that's just ongoing here in Mosaic Canyon, just re-depositing this material over time, uh, the groundwater moving through and cementing the particles together. 